In this demonstration, we'll show how data walk can correlate independent events, and in particular, we'll show how data walk can correlate LPR records with crimes. We start here on the data walk universe viewer, which is a visual representation of all the data in the system, which is imported from a number of different data sources. In this particular case, we have a fictitious watch list consisting of about half a million records, an entity's data set with about 435,000 records, a million crimes, just under 4 million LPR reads, and so forth. In this particular case, we're interested in a specific crime, which is crime report number 101010. We know that that's the particular crime of interest, and we can take a look at that crime. And we see that this is a bank robbery where a handgun was involved at the fictitious Bank of the Future in Los Angeles. And I'll mention here that all of the data that you'll see in this demo is fictitious data. Now this crimes data set is connected with the LPR records through actually three connections. And we can take a look at those connections. One corresponds to LPR reads that happened in the proximity of the crime, plus or minus 200 meters. Another is LPR reads that happened plus or minus 15 minutes of the time of the crime. And then in Data Walk, we can merge these and then analyze those connections, even with lots of data. And in this case, we've created a merged connection called LPR next to crimes, both in terms of time and distance. So what we instantly see is that there are 178 LPR records corresponding to the time of this particular crime. We see that we have 178 plates associated with those 178 records. And because we have a connection back to crimes, we can easily check and see whether any of these plates are showing up next to multiple crimes. And we see that there are, that one plate is showing up at three different crimes, and those are three different bank robberies, each with a handgun involved. We can continue to traverse our data and see if that plate matches up with any data that we may have in a vehicle's database, and we see it does have a match. And we can continue traversing our data to see if that vehicle corresponds to any people in our system. And once again, it does to one record, which can be something like a car registration record or other, uh, other information. In this case, it's a individual named Linda Roberts who's in the system. Again, all this data is fictitious. We can look at a dossier for this individual. This pulls together into one place all of the desired data about this person across all of the different sources in the system. So we have a photograph of this individual, physical description, last known address, registered vehicles, and also her arrest record. And we see that this individual has been arrested for petty theft, as well as robbery and a drug offense. So in this case, we're able to correlate independent events, LPR reads with crimes, to come up with a very promising lead of an individual whose car has been seen in the proximity of three different bank robberies. Thank <music> you.